the bam and welcome everybody to Shadows of Doubt. A big thanks to Fireshine Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, they came to me and they were like, Tom, there's been a bad murder and there's only one detective we know who can solve this case. That's right, it's you. Uh, and so here we are and we're gonna play. It's the late 20th century. Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. When we talk, people listen. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected megacorporation president in history, Starch Cola. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized Starch Cola and forces. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Boom! Shadows of Doubt! This city's a mess. <laughs> That's so dumb. This city's a mess. All I can do is just sit here and drink my. Bobbin hard cider. Delicious. There's crime everywhere. And it's our job to, to solve it. How the hell do I get out of this booth? Like this. A bam and welcome to Shadows of Doubt, everybody. Oh, pool ball. Nice. Free loot. Uh, so this is a detective game where we play a detective trying to clean up the mean streets of Shadyside, which is the name of the city that we're in. Uh, pool ball, I don't need you. Uh, right, um, littering is totally fine here. Who are you? Wow, you're a little, little short fella. That just really, like, walked into me. Uh, I don't want this either. So you go. And the, the bad murder's afoot. Uh, there's not a murder right now. Why are you looking at me? But we have got to... You know, try and make some money. That guy's just really... I bet you're the murderer. And we have to try and solve some crimes. But I think we're going to have to take ourselves a job first. And this is the city. There's going to be a bad murder. I can sense it. Since the police force has all been privatized by Starch Cola. Uh, they, don't, they don't care about anything. And it's just up to me. Um, a mean detective. To solve the case. Uh, we need to get ourselves some handcuffs. And this is the town hall. How are you doing? Uh, I need to buy myself some handcuffs. Um, currently, don't have a ton of cash. Uh-oh. A murder's been reported. What was that? New murder case? <gasps> a new murder case. A murder has happened. I was right. Uh, 103 Mofu Center. Right, we are real close. 103 Mofu Center. The crime is fresh. Uh oh, look, the cops are on their way. Oh, nuts, that's actually bad. They're gonna goof around in that crime scene and I'm not gonna be able to, uh... Not gonna be able to work this out. Oh, see, the whole place is locked down. Jeez. He's got a gun. Hmm. Interesting. Right, can we, uh... Someone's going to answer the door. Is that the police? The way we are doing this is we are going to be building ourselves a big case board uh, based on information that we find. We're going to have to try and solve this, but I really need to get into the crime scene. Why are you just pointing a gun at me? What the hell? Sir? Wait, who are you? Uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Diana Villanueva. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Nothing. Someone was literally just murdered in your house. Can you provide fingerprints for an investigation? <gasps> That's actually great. Okay. Uh... Wow, I can't believe they actually gave them to me. Oh my god, look at the blood. Are there still police in there? I want to get in there real soon. Uh... Don't mind me, I'm just here hanging out. Okay, right, they're putting up tape. Okay, we're in. <laughs> right, they are not going to enjoy me trespassing. 
but this is- oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, there's still cops there. I'm going. I'm leaving. Uh, right, this is bad. <laughs> this is a bad- a real bad start. He's still coming. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out of here. That's not a good place to run. Have we evaded? <laughs> Have we evaded capture? Whew. Okay, everything's fine. Right, we're gonna have to find another way into that building. Uh, but there is a little bit of legwork that we can do. Now, a lot of these buildings should have some kind of camera system. But where do you guys store your cameras? There we go. Hmm. It's locked. Lockpick. We need four lockpicks. I don't have enough. Fine. Don't worry, old Johnny Fiasco's got his own lockpick. No one heard anything. Everything's fine. Don't mind me. We're inside. Ah, oh, free lockpick. Nice. Okay. Got a hairpin. That's another lockpick. Oh, yeah, just made of lockpicks in here. A key. Right, Kelly. Kelly Bizjack. I guess you work here. Okay, we've got residents. 304. So, we can go through all of their files and see if we can find just any information about these people. Uh, sadly, they don't have everyone's files here. It is a big building. So they do have old-timey computers. Uh, blueprints? I don't know if I need that. But I don't know what the passcode is. We know who works here. So we're going to be building up a board to help us solve the crime. And so if I can go and track down the lady that works here, I might be able to get her code to be able to log in. Right, I think we're going to need to go back and just try and get into that apartment. That was a just a dead end. Synth milk. Do I want floor milk? Ooh, <laughs> gross. Are the police gone? <laughs> Okay, just ain't paying attention. Shut the door. Jesus. <laughs> okay, we found we found the murder. What the hell happened here? Uh can I take your fingerprints? Okay, we need to solve this before everything goes bad. Right, who are you? What could have happened? Uh, we've got a photo. Hmm. But who would have done the bad killing? A bullet wound. A low caliber ammunition. Right, they were shot with a gun. They were shot with a pistol or a revolver. It was between 6 and 7.15 on January 2nd. Great. We've got ourselves a clue. Right, we can... Scan for fingerprints. Fingerprint. Diana. Oh, that's who uh, we met outside. Okay. Okay, Diana was here. D Diana wouldn't have done the murder, right? I think Diana lives here. We need to find out who else lived here. Fingerprint type D. Okay, we've got new fingerprints turning up. A note. 2962. Wendy. I'm not supposed to write this down. Okay, we've got a code. Did someone try and get into your safe? Type B. Oh, we've got two different types of fingerprints here. 2962. What have you got? A little bit of cash? Oh, some handcuffs. Hello there. Go to hell! Go to hell! Uh, can we turn this off? I know it's kind of giving us a little bit of cover. Wendy Liddell. Okay. She's a receptionist. Wendy Liddell, type B. Right, we've got a type D fingerprint. It wouldn't be the police. We might actually have... have ourselves a lead here. Synth pork. Delicious. I, I like to eat on the job. Om nom 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 nom. Nauseous. Oh, it's raw. Oops. Nice. Okay, great. Uh, what 
do we go? Okay. Wendy. Oh, don't forget to pick up milk. There is milk in the fridge. They remembered. Okay, right, there's no... There's nothing good in this email. Type D. Okay. The Type D fingerprint. Who do you belong to? That's a piece of this puzzle that is missing. It is not a lot to go on right now. Okay, I hope there's no police directly outside. <gasps> See ya! Right, who's the employee that works here? Because I need to find where they live. See if I can find the code for their computer, and then we can hack into... Hack into the machine. Or... Oh. Oh, the hell's been messing with the drawer! Uh, hey, buddy. Nothing. Oh, nuts. Cleaners on duty. As time passes, the case is only getting colder. Let's follow up on Kelly. Uh, city directory... I'm after Kelly Bizjack. Uh, 1202! That works for me. 12. Okay, Kelly's probably at home right now. Because she's not at work. Which is going to make getting this information a little harder. But... Johnny Fiasco's always got a way to solve a case. Pretty big place. Pretty swanky apartment. Someone's coming to answer the door. Oh. Oh, jeez. Wait. What? What is going on? Uh, okay. I don't love that there's just... Cops everywhere. Do you live here? Uh, don't mind me. Kelly's at home. Oh, hello. Um, surprise! It's me, Johnny Fiasco. Right, Kelly, I'm so sorry. I had to break in. Kelly's work ID. But Johnny Fiasco always gets results. Uh, ooh, delicious wine. Do you have your work rotors? That's no help. Paperclip. It's the weirdest crime ever committed. Someone just broke in and stole your paperclips. There is a cop outside the door. Uh, do you have some notes? Those people are going to wake up. Kelly, I'm not supposed to write this down. Uh, your passcode is Kelly's year of birth. Oh. A sword. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, God! Ow! <laughs> Ow, they shot me. Uh, right. Well, that's what I got. I broke in. I stole their paper clips. But we can now... We've now got a code for the computer. Nice! 1926. Got it. Are you still cleaning? What the hell? I guess I tracked a lot of dirt in there. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. We, we, we're solving this murder. See Hamilton. I just got the wrong person. Oh! Kelly was the admin. Okay, right. We did make it work. Uh, surveillance. Is that guy... Oh my god, he's getting up. The room's spinning. Shoot. Well, hopefully he's done working for the day. Uh, please, out of my way. Right, we've definitely got our lead. I think I'm going to have to lay low for a little bit, but... I can't wait too long. Oh, shoot! Oh my god. <laughs> well, we... thought I was on a slightly lower floor. Uh, so we picked up a disc. Uh, two discs, in fact. Double discs. And we can use those to get... Kind of get better. Get better at doing things. Um, install a disc. Uh, I can no longer get cold. Oh, that's actually a really good ability. Get more max health. Um, but more inventory space. I love inventory space. They're my favourites. That way I can just pick up a load of... Uh, just a load of junk. Right, look at the slots that we have now. 
And I think we just want to go and find ourselves somewhere to relax and lay low for a, f for a little bit of time. And the lotus flower? Yeah. Keeping well? I am! Do you guys really need three people staffed here? I feel like uh, whoever did the rotor today. Super goofed up. Uh, give me some noodles. I'd love that. And... A soda? Great. Thank you. And we'll uh, sit down. <gasps> a lucky dice. I'll take it. Right, I just need to wait. Just need to wait for the the cleaner to be done. And then, then we can bust in and find out what's going on. Uh, nice. Uh, thanks for the food. It's been away like an hour. So this city's gone to, just absolutely gone to shit. Shady side used to be so nice. But since the sea levels rose, I think it's because they, uh, there are these plans to build some kind of techno land nearby. And, uh, they never finished it. And because of that, we're now left. Left like this. Oh, who's that, like, little short fella? Whoa. Whoa, what are you up to? Do you have a knife? Hey, yo, the street is a toll. Pay up. Not a chance. Run. Oh. He stabbed him in the butt. What the hell? God, I was just talking about how bad this place is now. He does have a knife. Bonk. My face! God damn it! You little jerk. Oh, beat it! You are bad with your knife. Actually, I don't want to gloat. Nice. Uh, you? Who the hell are you, you little jerk? Short and muscular. Take your print. Uh, here we go. There we go. No one's any the wiser. I hope the cleaner's done. Like, how long are you cleaning for? Like, I didn't put that many footprints in the room. I need that camera footage as soon as possible. Because then, once we've got ourselves a face, we can start to track down who who this murderer is. At the moment, we're just calling them D, D fingers. Oh, come on! Hello, I'm Clayton Hamilton. All right, Clayton Hamilton. Can you get out of here? What time is it? Half one in the morning. Uh, you're probably going to be working for another couple of hours, aren't you? Look, I don't need long. When that guy wakes up, he's going to shoot me in the back. And I just do not need that going on in my life. Between 6 and 6.15. Is that, uh... Is that my, um, murder victim? You. Where were you? You were downstairs. <gasps> Just don't, don't worry about it. Right, uh, we, we need to get into that, that room. But I just think we're just gonna have to wait, wait for him to be done. Oh, he's done now. We could just give him like a spill to go and clean up. Right, we didn't need to, <laughs> we didn't need to go through all of the uh, attacking. He was basically done. Diana, okay, Diana, we saw Diana leave, right? It probably isn't Diana. Who else could have done a bad? What? Uh... <laughs> We've got to track this person down. If we don't solve this case soon, the murderer will kill again. Until we get rid of that boy, kind of a little bit of a loss. Let's see if we can ask the neighbours if anyone has uh, any info. Oh, they're here. Hello. Oh my god, I'm sorry to... Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Just that's no help. Nothing to do with me. Can I come and have a look around? Not a chance. Okay. Well, so yeah. Uh, hello. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Come on. What's everyone up to? Do you know this person? That's my neighbour, Wendy Liddell. Suffers from high blood pressure. Monday at 10pm. They were dead by 10pm on Monday. You're no help whatsoever. Right, the guy's gone. Okay, well this is... Definitely Wendy Liddell. No. They look similar. 
They look real similar. So we're just seeing a lot of people just going, coming to and from. Okay, we basically got pictures of everyone who came in and out. Oh my god, there's been another murder. Uh, 1803 Martin Grove. Oh shoot, we took way too long. Martin Grove. Oh my god, it's literally right next door. Right, I need to get up and see that body. What time is it now? 7.38 in the morning. This person is a stone cold killer. They've not ventured too far. Like some kind of a bird of prey. Do they hunt near their nest? Here we go. Right, seeing as we're so fresh here, like the murder can't have happened more than a few hours ago. Uh, surveillance. Now, I just want to have a quick scan. Wait a second, how do they not have cameras on those floors? Okay, that's not super good for me. But if we recognize anyone... You? The blue glasses? You. You've been on both crime scenes at ten past seven. Okay, you are now chief suspicion person. And how come they don't have a camera on the floor? No, they've got two sentry guns, but no camera. Beep. Is there anyone in here still? Alright, we need to find a body. What the hell is going on? Who is this person committing these murders most foul? Uh, is there a... Oh, jeez. Zoe Kelly, how do I already know... Wait, have we already spoken to you? Take your print. Right. Have you been shot? Yeah, it's another bullet wound. 7 and 8.15. Okay, that puts our person in the right kind of place. Company director. So we cut his purse. Neat. Money. Her key. Organ donor card. Uh, so we can have just a sword, which I think actually means I now own a sword. Ooh. Uh, three, four, eh? Uh? One, seven? Three, four, one, seven. Mail. Anything suspicious here? Can you cut me some slack? What is that about? Right, why do you want to be cut some slack? Did you need enough slack cut? And so then you cut Zoe Kelly's life short? Uh, we... Do you have your code? Disc. Nice. Another disc. Upgrades. Diamonds. Ooh. We, we're not taking a diamond. You're who we're trying to hunt down now. The case is on. Uh, I think we can do this by doing a little bit of canvassing. Don't mind me. Didn't come out of there at all. Hey. How have you seen this person? I saw them somewhere around Lechner Heights. Great, thank you. Uh, so, if someone's seen them somewhere, that means they probably either work there or live there. Oh god, that is absolutely gross. Super duper gross out. Uh, we managed to get some more discs, which is nice. Gain 10 credits every two hours? Sure. Well, uh, hello there. Do you know this person? Pearson Boulevard, Monday around 6.15. That's only an hour before the murder happened. Uh, excuse me. Bah, you look <laughs> super angry. Do you know this person? Uh, Lechner Heights. We're in Lechner Heights. I know them. Nua Cheng. Well, that is great. They live... 1101. Lechner Heights. If you have the fingerprints, then job's done. If not, Geez, we are back to the drawing board. Oopa. There's no one home. Why is your door open? Oh, 
This is all a little suspicious. They've just got a skull. Just a s human skull on there. I think they are working. They are working right now. Love that. You should not have left your door open. People could break in and feel your skulls. That's the bathroom. I see. Wait. Do you have a towel? I'm wet. <gasps> Security. Oopa. But this is the most telling thing. If we can scan something and it comes up with the D. Oh my god, it it did. Okay, we, we have got them. They had they are at both crime scenes. Also they've got a they've got a spooky skull. I wanna get in that room. The bedroom. Can we sabotage? Do I have enough lock fix to do this? Great. Weird spot for a light switch. Don't love that for layout. Now we're looking for a gun as well. Uh, give me a key. Uh, one six one five. One six one five. Who have you been mailing? Uh, they're looking for love. Nothing great. Right, do you have a phone? They were friends with... They were friends with Wendy. Uh, with Zoe here. And Wendy. Why did you murder your friends? Okay, although this kind of creates a little bit of complication, because that explains... It could be they went and visited their friend. But I think they went and visited with murder in their heart. Okay, there is no gun here. I was really hoping that we would find a gun. Uh, what have you got in your trash? Pistol ammunition. Oh. The Go Home Center. Okay, well they definitely bought a gun. Um, that's super... super duper sus. Oh well, they bought ammo. They bought it an hour before the murder. They go. They shoot Wendy Liddell. Blam! Take that. Then they flee. We could even pass them on the stairs. We were there so fast. And then, the following day, it's not enough. Zoe Kelly's next on the list. Kapow! Blast her as well. <gasps> they all work together. Okay. Once again, not... It's not, you know, confirmed, but I think... I think they, uh, there's some office rivalries going on. Oh, that guy. He was one of our people. Office manager. There you are, you rat. Wendy Liddell. Uh, hello. You know this person? Why aren't you helping? Oh, wait, it's you. You're the murderer. Heck. How much for the door code for this place? It'll cost you. 100 bucks? Right. Ooh, that was a good amount of money. Uh, right, she's working till evening. Uh-oh. She's in the bathroom. Is anyone else here? Nua. Nua Cheng. You're going down. For murder. Pow! That's what you get for being a bad murderer. That's a box to turn off the... The goods. Right, we're definitely doing this in a real loose cannon kind of way. Okay. Great. I don't have a lot of lockpicks. Oh, shoot. She's back. <laughs> Just knock her out again. Okay, what is her desk? Is this her computer? It is. Right, she's got coins, she's got glasses. Do you keep your gun here? Where'd your gun be? I, f I feel like all of my alarm bells are ringing. Shit! <laughs> you saw nothing. And... Handcuffs. Right. I'm gonna handcuff you. Oh, shit. Shit! 
It's fine. It's fine. No one knows about anything going on. Uh, I really need to investigate her. But the cops are on their way, and I need to... I need to leave. <laughs> wow, that place is just super high alert. Oh, man, I really want to, um... Investigate to see if she had a... had a weapon on her. Okay, shit, is it just because I had my torch on? I think it is. Work ID. A fucking pistol! She had the gun! Uh... <laughs> sorry. Yeah, 8 millimeter. I fucking have you. Yes. Oh, we have you dead to rights, Nua Cheng. Small box of ammo. You can keep that. I don't have your key and your money as well. Right. Oh, we... Oh, we did it! Now, we got to hand this in. Do we have all the info we need? Right, resolve. The full name of the killer. Nua Cheng. Do I have any evidence to place them at the scene? It's both the fingerprint. Where does the killer live? Have I located the murder weapon? Yes, I did. Case is submitted. Case processing. Was it the full name of the killer? Do we have something to place on the crime scene? Have we located the murder weapon? Case solved! Amazing. We're the best. That's what you get for doing a bad murder in my town. I'll stop you all. Boom! Uh, so, this has been Shadows of Doubt, everybody. Man, I've been absolutely loving playing this game. It is amazing. Uh, really, really good. Um, like, piecing the murders together. And there's so many ways you can do it. Like, ways to pin crimes on people. Or you feel like you're, you're chasing a good lead. And then all of a sudden... It just falls apart because they now have an alibi and you're back to the drawing board. Good times. Also, do you have some hot loot for me to steal? <gasps> See ya! <laughs> Try and solve that case. Once again, a massive thanks to Fireshine Games for sponsoring this video. I've been playing a whole load of Shadows of Doubt in my spare time, and honestly, I absolutely love it. Um, they did not ask me to say this at all, but I'd say it's one of my favorite games that I've played this year. It is mind-blowing that this is made basically all by by one person which is nuts uh if you do like the look of this game uh you can buy it on steam right now uh, it's 20 percent off and they've just had a giant new update uh featuring a whole load of extra content uh now there's a hotel uh you can track down people cheating on their partners and solve those crimes as well uh, if you don't want to just be getting involved in the dirty work of murders uh so please do click on the link in the description below um, it helps to support them, um, and they help to support me. And honestly, being sponsored to play this game, I would have played it for free. Uh, like, I've, I've been playing a load of this at home, and I cannot recommend it enough. Um, hopefully, you know, you saw enough to uh, kind of sell you on it. Uh, but yeah, uh, check it out. I really, really rate it. Until next time, everybody. See ya.